This is Mount Barker, Dutton Road station for buses. And we can see here in the distance the layover area for the buses. And if we come round, we'll see that this also is a railway station from an earlier time. We can see this was a workshop for the railway station on the line from Mount Barker Junction down to Port Fitgulwa at Port Elliot and Victor Harbour. The red line is standard gauge and if we wanted to have trains coming from the city to Adelaide you have probably two breaks of gauge which could be solved by gauge changing trains but the point of this video is to look at buses the buses to, Vic to uh, Mount Barker from the city can come by the old road called the Mount Barker Road and portions of the Mount Barker Road still in existence and still in use and other portions have been turned into a freeway the road here in blue is the freeway and at this point the freeway hasn't reached 100% saturation but further along we'll see that the freeway going down the escarpment has had the safety lanes turned into normal lanes and so the road at that point probably is a over 100% capacity during busy times. So the buses from Mount Barker can either go along this single line which is the Mount Barker Road or go on the freeway. If we move further along We come to Crafers and at this point buses all come to Crafers and there is a park and ride at Crafers and if we go down to the ground level we can see the two platforms for the bus station and spaces for the park and ride. The question is how can the buses avoid going down to the toll road marker on the southeastern freeway and one possibility is to exit from the station using the Mount Barker Road. And so this actually is the Mount Barker Road, portions of which have been turned into a freeway but this lower section is the original Mount Barker Road and if we move further along we can see here a promontory called Eagle on the Hill which actually is where the old or where the Mount Barker Road goes over the top of the tunnels ice and tunnels and suggested that we could use the existing road, the Mount Barker Road, as a busway which is avoiding the congestion of the freeway and if we come closer we can see here the freeway going into the tunnels, the two tunnels and this is the Mount Barker Road as it was and if we come to a point 
at this point here we actually at the start of the bullock track if we go down to ground level we can see the sign there for the bullock track this bullock track at this point is still a public road and this particular YouTube Google map image has been taken by a bike rider using a camera on his helmet so the Mount Barker Road up until now actually has been the bullock track turned into a modern road it suggested what we could do is use the bullock track as a busway we're near the top of Mount Osmond here and we see that the bullock driver's track at this point is nice and wide and over to the camera's right hand side is the Southern Expressway running up the uh, gully that gully would be very windy and twisty and narrow with lots of problems of rock falls and that's why the early settlers used this ridge line as the way to get down so we pan across towards the valley we hear the noise of the vehicles on the freeway This is now taking us along the track used in the 1850s to get between the city and Mount Barker. If we come a bit closer we'll see that in modern times there's a golf course and so probably the original track went around the golf course but we could actually have our busway skirting around the edge of the golf course to a point here and at this point we can see there are one two three four lines of descent down and I suggest that maybe the best solution might be this one on the northern side which is on the side of Waterfall Gully which brings us then down to Beaumont and we can then join on to Glenburn Road which then takes us into the suburbs of Adelaide and so we could then use the road Greenhill Road down to the CBD that way or we could come up here to Kensington Park and then use the road through Norwood to the city or both this would involve us removing the huge congestion which is occurring here at the end of the freeway so this is a way in which we can get from Crafers to the CBD by a different route to the freeway for buses with a minimum disruption particularly if we use a guided busway which has a very narrow footprint because the advantage of the Oban was it was going through a park the linear park similarly this proposed eastern busway is going through parks and so a busway would give us a minimum in input on the parkland particularly if we use a guided busway 
This historic image shows how our latest senders on the bullet track using a log being dragged behind the tray to stop the tray rushing down the hill.